And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at the BBC, and specifically its climate wazakry, I'll call it, as they constantly, constantly, constantly bicker about climate change. This time they've done an article that contradicts itself within the very first paragraph. Absolute joke of a news organisation. They should be forced to take that news off and be put propaganda organisation. Absolutely disgusting, but we'll prove them wrong anyway. <laughs> now, the article is actually say, saying, climate change. We're making wine in Norway. This is the guy that's doing it, Bjorn Bergen. And he says it's not easy to get people to try Norwegian wine. I wonder why. It's probably because it's so cold. But let's have a look at what they're actually saying, shall we? Before we do, though, let me just remind people that even during Roman times, you could grow grapes in England. So it's not a big change that... Norway have had a bit of warm weather and now have, a have been able to once, the first time ever, grow a grape. Now, th if you didn't know, there was a period when the Romans occupied Britain where the Romans prohibited the establishment of vine vineyards outside Italy in order to safeguard its wine trade. It's pretty understandable. But in the third century, the emperor, Probus, granted permission to, are we ready for this? Britain, Spain and Gaul. Britain. So we were growing grapes in Britain, which has got no sun and rains a lot. Now, but they're all saying it's because of climate change he can grow a few grapes. And here's the kicker, everyone. Here is the absolute stupidity of the BBC. You ready for this? The first, first, first paragraph. Norwegian winemaker Bjorn Bergen talks up to his grapevines. Woo! Oh, he talks to him. Oh, you lovely grape. He said, you have to have a connection with them. When I woke up this morning, there was three centimetres of snow. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> let that sink in. It's because of climate change you can grow grapes. But in the first sentence, he's talking about snow in Norway. But it's because <laughs> it's because of the climate change, don't you know? Honest. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I was saying to them, don't be afraid. It'll be nice in the afternoon. <laughs> It's been nice in the afternoon. How do you know that? You're in Norway. See, he's not just a great man or a climate change expert. He's also a meteorologist. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this? This is absolutely ridiculous. Now, if you want to know why we're getting a few adverse weather incidents, it's because of the Milankovic orbital cycles and the roles in the Earth's climate. Now, I will leave a link in the description from NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, which basically explains what the Milankovic cycles are. Now, this was a scientist in the 1920s, and he's hit the nail on the head perfectly. Have a look through it at your own leisure. It is quite in-depth, but it will explain everything that's going on at the moment that they're actually claiming as climate change. Absolutely ridiculous. Let me know what you think. I'd like to know your opinion on this one. Go and check out the Milankovic cycles and let me know what you think of that. Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one.